What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video we're looking at the war within because I was lucky enough to be invited amongst other content creators and the press to test out alpha war within before anyone else. So I've been doing a lot of different stuff but there's been a lot of questions about delves which I want to do today. Basically just do a delve in this video on the easiest difficulty to show you kind of the concept and the ideas behind the delves. Now before we dive into the video, yes I have taken a look at a lot of gold farms on the alpha and everyone that has the uh, from 0 to 10 million gold guide will receive the updated version for the war within. So if you don't have the guide yet, you can find it with the link down below in the description. But yes, every single update done like for an infinity uh, future will be for free. So even five years from now when there's a new expansion, I update the gold guide with the best ways to make gold in that expansion and I send it directly automatically to your email. So that's going to be linked down below. Uh, but yeah, Delves. Delves is a, a cool system uh, that you can do for a lot of different things. Uh, for instance, the Great Vault will have rewards if you do Delves, uh, because Delves can be done solo. So it's like a solo way of getting rewards from the Great Vault. Uh, you can also do it together with friends. When it comes to Delves, there's a couple of Delves in uh, each zone in the War Within. Now, you can easily see them uh, as you approach them on your minimap, and they're all going to be marked, and they all got different names, and all got different type of mobs and objectives inside the Delve. So when you approach the Delve, you, can, you just need to walk close to it. You're going to get this menu, which is pretty much like a Mythic Plus, if you think about affixes. You can see what mobs are in. It, like You can see the HP and the damage uh, that's increased for each tier that you do. Now, on this alpha build, the first alpha build, you can only do tier 1 and tier 2. So, if you go to uh, tier 1, you can see there's no HP or damage increase. The item level is 437, and from a gold-making perspective as well, this is very interesting. It also says it's possibly to contain powerful equipment, exotic regions, and secret recipes. So hopefully it's going to be... Uh it's going to be quite easy, not easy, but quite good to run uh, these delves uh, like over and over again to acquire these regions and also in hopes of, uh, of a recipes that are doing quite good. So once you select your tier, you can also see if you go to tier 2 that the item level on the spoils is increased. I'm unsure if you have a higher chance or if you get more regions by doing the higher... Uh, by doing the higher uh, tiers, but uh, I'm going to go with one just to show you guys like kind of how it works uh, and how they look. Now, the, the, when you go into a delve, you're going to have bronze, uh, like brand bronze paired with you, which uh, by the way is like your companion, and he's going to be your companion for uh, for season one. But like when we get season two, we're going to get a different companion that basically aids and assists us. Uh, in the delve you can also repair inside here and uh, you can get this magnificent jewel setting which gives you a socket to an amulet in the ring which at the moment has no cost but that's probably gonna change uh, this is alpha after all so there's a lot of thing that's uh, that's subject to change uh, but you can talk to this guy right here in order to uh, to start the delve uh, you can also choose the role on uh, on a brand bronze spirit. So you can choose if you want him to heal or if you want him to deal damage. Now I'm just gonna tell him to heal, and then you can also take a look at the abilities uh, that he does. Uh, but pretty sweet. So you can go into this as a healer, a tank, and also a DPS. Uh, but once you've chosen that, you take uh, you start the delve by taking the quest. And uh, the objective is to save uh, 10 scouts. Now, a cool thing in these delves is that there's a lot of like these mini secrets and uh, rare elites. There's chests. Uh, with the chest can, and the rare elites can grant you uh, like special abilities. Just think about, uh, think about Torghast. Maybe you don't really want to think about Torghast, but that is like roughly uh, what it's all about. Like there's going to be these, uh, these power-up abilities that you get which will be like you're immune to taking damage for a minute or uh, your increased damage, you have a chance of rooting enemies. There's a bunch of stuff like that. No, 
don't mind me clicking my abilities because I'm playing on the alpha and I've had quite a few crashes and every time it crashes I need to redo my key binding so I couldn't be arsed to do this for uh, recording this video. Uh, you can also loot these mobs and they will drop you items. Now, uh, the raw gold, it doesn't actually seem to be that bad. So uh, I'm kind of curious to see how that leads uh, in terms of inflation. Like, is it going to be a big amount? Like the gray items, they also vendor for quite a bit of gold. So uh, like how much of a difference is it going to make to uh, to the economy? It's going to be interesting to see. Or is it just going to be, it's okay enough to the point where it gives you like a steady amount of gold. But you might as well just do world quest. Like it's not better or worse than world quest. Uh, we have no clue of telling right now because I haven't ran uh, that many of them. Uh, but we're going to see if we can find uh, a chest. Maybe I skipped the chest up here. I know that I did find the chest uh, there earlier. And when we, we did have this Q&A with the, uh, the WoW devs. And uh, one of the senior devs that had main focus on, uh, on the delves. He said that every single delve should feel slightly different. So you basically, after running the same delve a couple of times, you can't just put on like blindfolders and then just run the delve. Because you know every single mob spawn it. And every possible thing that can happen. So uh, that's interesting. Like it might be the same mobs. Like the same mobs might be spawning. But they might be spawning at different locations pretty much. So that's, that's kind of cool. Bring some kind of element of RNG into it as well. We've got to finish up these. This is horrible to play without key bindings. I have no clue how people do this without key bindings. But this is uh, really bad. Let me just finish up these. And this this is tier 1. I, I ran a couple of these uh, with key bindings though. And they are super easy on tier 1. As I think they were supposed to be. Uh, but now I'm going to loot this chest. Which you can find these uh, random locations in uh, the delves. And as you can see. Increase movement speed by 50%. And heals you for 14 every second for 1 minute. So they're really cool. And they usually uh, do something to your mobility as well. Mobility, roots... Uh, but they're, they're really fun to use. I'm going to kill these guys to save the other one. There's also events inside. Like, hopefully... Uh, I think the event is going to be the same in this delve every single time. But there's, like, these mini events that you can do... Uh, well, that you kind of have to do in order to, uh, to finish the quest that you have inside the delve. But I, so far, haven't received any... Uh, any loot outside of like gray items from running delves. So I'm, I'm curious to see if that's going to be a thing uh, in a delve. If we have like a small chance of looting like a blue item, epic items, uh, like collectibles perhaps inside a delve. I just want some element of RNG, some incentive to keep on running these constantly. Yes, you can get transmog item, gear up your tune. A lot of people might uh, even uh, quest... Uh, like level their way up running these delves because they do grant XP. If it's going to be considered like steady XP or a good enough XP an hour to be worth doing, I have no clue. Uh, but it is an alternative way to uh, to level at least. Uh, but you kind of want to finish the the main storyline as well. Uh, this is what I was talking about. This is like a mini event going on right here. So as you approach these scouts, they're going to tell you that it's a trap. I'm now in combat. I've probably already engaged the uh, the event right now, but they're going to tell you that you're in combat, or that you're in uh, you got trapped and you have to kill like these waves of mobs, and there's a boss at the end of it as well. Just got to finish up this one. There we go. Like the waves are getting uh, tougher and tougher to do, but uh, again, on on both like tier one and tier two. They're extremely easy to do, though. But they do go all the way up to... Uh, all the way up to... I think it was tier uh, tier 10, they said, in Season 1. And um, in uh, if you do, like, a tier 8 to 10, it will grant you loot that's uh, the same item level as, like, a Mythic plus 5. That's, like, the cap. The best item you can get is loot equal to, uh, to a plus 5 Mythic. So, uh, pretty good. Which is randomly gearing up your alts. I, like, I, I definitely think so. That that's more than enough. It would be broken if you could get uh, if you could get like more than a mythic plus five. But I, I feel like a plus five is nice. Just a nice way to start gearing up your alts. Now we got to kill the boss. This is not the big boss of the uh, the delve. 
There's going to be an even bigger guy that we have to finish, which is guarding the chest at the end of this delve. But we'll see, though. You can also get terror set pieces from uh, from the delve. That was said in the video that we watched where, uh, where Ion said that you it is possible to get terror set from the delves. Because when you when you do a delve, you will progress towards the uh, the great vault, and you can then use like the catalyst to uh, to craft it into a tier items. So that's also pretty cool. It's just like every information. I do have a lot of videos coming on uh, the War Within, but it's so tailored towards making solo play an actual thing. Like that's uh, like the key things that I took away from the presentation and also the Q and A. It's very tailored to not having anything really being character wide. Like with the war bands, it's more like you progress your account rather than you progress your tune, and you have a lot of options to play the game solo all by yourself, which uh, introverts like myself absolutely love. So I think it's really cool. It's a nice, uh, nice step in the right direction. So now we're just gonna save two more of these clowns, these mushroom guys. And then we'll see what the boss, if the boss even drops something this time. I haven't received anything cool from the boss uh, so far. Just kill this guy. Should have gone DPS on a Bran. We could have killed these guys a little bit faster. And then the last one. Got these mushrooms to jump on, but like the... Uh, Every zone is built differently, though. Every single delve. Different map layout, different mobs, different objectives as well. But the objective is always going to be the same inside the delve. And that is a rare elite, this guy right here. You also see some. I call him a rare spawn, but like so far, he's been in every single delve of this type that I've done. So I'm pretty sure it's like a 100% chance of having this dude inside the... Uh, Inside the delve, but you don't have to kill him though. You, I, I'm pretty sure you can just skip this guy. Uh, however, killing him gives you uh, uh, gives you like another ability, which might be handy to have going into the uh, the next boss. Well, the last boss of the uh, of the delve. Now we'll see if we can actually kill him while clicking the abilities. There's a big boy elite here as well. But I can't wait to see. There's other creators, lots of creators, who also got access to playing the uh, playing the alpha. So it's going to be interesting to see if they find out some cool stuff. Now I can click this thingy, the web spool. Chance when attacking an enemy to root them in place for three seconds. This lasts for a minute. Now, I've had that exact one every single time. So I'm pretty sure that's just a, a base one. You can also loot different items inside the, the delve to get like these common uh, and also rare uh, power-ups. Like this one, increase haste uh, by 10%. It's pretty good. But not necessarily needed, though, in these uh, easy delves on the lower tier. Right, so this is the end game boss. We're going to kill him, and then we're going to take a look at what's inside the chest with the big loot, the uh, hopefully big loot. When my RNG is probably going to be shit loot. Just finish him. Some convoke, and die. Come on. Oh, Brand of Bronze Spirit is pretty good. Like he actually, uh, he's very helpful. Usually, I mean, I played WoW since it came out, and usually when you have someone aid you, like an NPC aiding you, they're pretty worthless. But Bran, he uh, he pulls his weight throughout the delve. Let's see. Extra XP on kill, no loot from him. And uh, now I leveled up Bran. Like, he levels up, and that's another cool thing about delves. Like, when you go into... Uh, like, when you log an alt after this, if you log an alt, like, Bran Bronzebeard is going to be, uh, like, high level. You can walk around on your, like, freshly alt, and you're going to be running around with level 40 Bran, just knocking everything over. So now we have uh, these chests. You can see I got a blue consumable right here. I got a belt upgrade, some resonance crystals, a lot of gray items. You can also get these keys uh, to open up additional treasures as well. Uh, and then once you're done with it, like, 
you just click this uh, level, but uh, 7,000, and he's going to fly you to uh, to the start or the entrance of the delve again. And that's pretty much a delve. So just imagine this leveling up brand bronze spirit, getting loot from completing the delve. Every delve is different, different objective, different map layout. I think it's really cool. Uh, for my personal experience, though, if I'm going to keep on doing this for a long period of time, like doing the same delves over and over again, there needs to be some kind of RNG. Like there needs to be a chance of getting a really rare recipe or it needs to be a steady way of making gold, like the materials that you can get is netting you a decent gold per hour, but definitely a cool concept that I think that a lot of people will enjoy. With that being said, though, that's pretty much it for today's video, so make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel if you want to see more of the War Within content, and don't forget to check out the uh, Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide, which will receive updates for War Within completely for free. Link down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.